Hi ladies and gentlemen, my name is Vivs from SlideNote here. In this video, I'm going to talk about a simple example of static variables in Java. So the problem that we have at hand is count the number of objects created. Objects of what? So for that, let's create a simple class here called test. So every time I create an object of test, the number of objects should increase. So in other words, there is a variable inside this class test called counter or you can simply call it count here. So what I want is when I say test t is new test, this is one object created, right? And I say test t2 equals to new test, this is the second object created. So based on how many objects I create here, the value of count should change. So one of the possible things that I can do is right now if you guys notice, when we create the first object, we are calling the constructor here. When we create the second object, again we call the constructor. So we can make a constructor here within which we can increase the value of counter. Initially, let's keep it zero and then increase it. Again, we can just print this over here by saying system.out.println counter. So at this point, the constructor is called, count will increase by one and that value will be printed. So let's just run this and see what happens. Shift F6 in NetBeans. And as you guys notice, both of them say 1, 1. So the idea was that we get 2 over here after we get 1 in the first statement. Now let me just make another object over here just to show you guys. If I say go here and say test t3 is new test, again run this. It's 1, 1, 1. What I want is 1, 2, 3 because this is the second object and this is the third one, right? So what is the problem over here? The problem is very simple. Every object has its own count variable so when you increase the value of count you're increasing the value of that particular object under which you're considering for example the test t over here has its own int count which is separate from t2 which has its own int count and so on so what we want is this int count equals to zero should be common to all objects and not only that it should be separate which means there's only one value of int count which is maintained for every other variable that you create. So in other words, I'm gonna make this static over here. Now, right after we write that one word, if I run this and you will notice the difference, you will see one in the first case, two in the second, three in the third. Now, why is this so? Right now, when you say test t is new test, the constructor gets called, count is incremented, but, but count does not belong to the object t anymore it's kept separate from the object t in other words count was zero then it becomes one and that is printed next time the constructor is called for t2 here count is already one because it is a separate variable and t2 does not own the value of int count hence that becomes two and then it becomes three and so on so this is how static variables work they are kept as a single copy across every object that you guys create. In other words, every object will have this in common. So you change it in one place, all the objects are gonna see that change. That is the simple meaning of the statement. Now again, I have get directly given a value of zero here. There are several ways I can give a value to this. Well, I could go and use a constructor, but I, I'm not gonna do that because for every object that will be changing, right? I'm gonna remove this. What I'm gonna do is static block over here and inside this I'm gonna say count equals to zero again just to prove you I'm gonna have a system dot out dot print ln statement so at this point I have my static int count which has not been given any value there is a static block which is the first piece of code that's gonna execute inside which I have set static block called and then there's a constructor within which I have set constructor called so now if you run this you will notice that the static block is called before any object is created notice that and it's called only once notice that as well because all you need to do is initialize the static variable once and that value will be kept across all the objects so you gotta just keep a single copy remember so if you have several static blocks I could go down and say another static block over here and inside this I could add another print ln statement and this time it's gonna say static block number two call if I say control s shift f6 as you guys notice the first block is called the second block is called and then all the objects are being created and their stuff is all. 
so let me do one thing let me remove all these statements here for creating objects and now as you guys notice our main method is completely empty let's just run this and see control s shift f6 nothing happens but if i say test dot count that's all i'm trying to say here just put that inside some value i'm going to say int x equals to test dot count class name dot variable name this is how you access static variables because an object does not own it a class is the person who owns that particular variable now if you run this you will notice something funny static block called now remember i have not created any object over here i have not tried to do any kind of constructor setup at all and yet when you have this test dot count your java compiler is like okay the value of count is needed for this statement that means this static block has to be run this static block has to be run because they are the components or you can see the areas where you give value to this static variable that you just created above and hence these two statements will execute now notice that i have not created a single object and yet the static blocks always run when the class is to be used in some form or the other or the class is loaded so this is how static blocks work so hopefully you guys have understood something about static variables which I talked about in my previous video again and static blocks which we discussed earlier. If you like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.